nice to be with you all. I've been thinking about light as the days get longer. Soon we'll have more daylight than many places, like Brazil. We need the sun and the daylight and the warmth. As the years go on, I find that it's hard to wait for the days to get longer than the nights. Isaiah said, The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Jesus was that light. And we have inherited his light and his purpose. As we look around at the darkness and worry and the fear of these days, we can remember that we are people of the light and make sure that we shine on those that we come in contact with. Smile. It's easy to do. Give an extra thought for those workers in the grocery. Leanne, my wife, came home the other day and said they seemed depressed and didn't want to make eye contact. We have the light of Christ within us, and we need to share it now more than ever. John, the beloved disciple, seems to me the most in tune of the gospel writers with the purpose that Jesus had when he was on the earth. Instead of the story of Jesus' birth, he starts his gospel with who Jesus was in essence. Immediately reaching beyond the physical and going to the heart of the matter, He was and is the Word and the truth and the light. John chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 says, uh, In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. As he went around the countryside, people saw that, and they were attracted to him, and they came in droves. John said that Jesus was the light because Jesus said he was after setting free a woman taken in adultery. In John 8 verse 12 we have Jesus' own statement. He spent much of the time with the disciples trying to teach them to see beyond their physical realities and as it is for us it was difficult for them to separate themselves from the daily reality like where the next meal was coming from. Of the disciples during this time Perhaps John was the only one who really saw the spiritual plane on which Jesus wanted to build his kingdom. What about us now then? We also walk in the light. In 2 Corinthians 4, 6, Paul says, For God, who said, Let light shine out of the darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. So I hope that as we reflect the light that shines in the face of Christ. I hope that we will reflect the light that shines in the face of Christ as we walk through this world. God bless you.